ladies and gentlemen guys and girls hope you all are doing well wherever you are as part of our first podcast of a group legion in athena we shall describe in brief the concept of communication and its three different perspectives so without ado let's begin first of all what is communication we can describe communication as a great medium through which all human beings send and receive information it is a medium through which we develop consolidate maintain and even savor relations it is a medium through which we are able to work together for a greater good or destruction communication is derived from the latin word communis which means common the idea of which is often equated when describing communication communication is the main reason we as a race are able to develop and civilize ourselves as an absence or excess amount of such can throw us into the depths of chaos thus communication can be described as the very fabric of society so let's discuss the first perspective that is process perspective of communication so in layman terms it's the process how communication takes place between two individuals and takes place through the following steps number 1 the sender generates a message number 2 the message is made which conveys any information view or fact number 3 the message is encoded symbolically through words gestures etc number 4 it is transmitted orally or in writing number 5 the receiver gets the said message and lastly number 6 once the receiver gets the message he or she confirms with the sender and the process is complete so in a nutshell this is how the entire process of communication works now that we have understood the first perspective let's move on to the second one the event perspective of communication So what this means is that we adopt different strategies for communicating in different environments and situations. For instance, the way we converse in a conference is different from the way we do the same in a friendly gathering. This situation is best explained by the Gardner model. According to this model when any event occurs it is up to a person or machine to perceive and understand it but since we cannot perceive the entire event as a whole the person in question will usually select that context of the event that may seem more interesting or necessary than the rest and this selection is based on the given person's mood culture personality etc so in a nutshell whenever any event occurs the person will modify what he wants to communicate and understand on the basis of the event and his own perception of it so now it's time to move on to the indian perspective of communication which is truly unique one in this perspective the complete picture of communication cannot be thought out without taking into consideration the in depth and holistic view of the human being and its interrelation with society world and the universe this perspective of communication comes from the concept of sadharanikaran it is described from the sanskrit word sadharan which means generalization it is a representation of communication from the hindu perspective which describes a diagramic form of attaining mutual understanding commonness and oneness among people 
according to sadharani karan when senders and receivers complete the process of communication they attain the process of sahridayatta which means they have achieved commonness its structure is non linear and incorporates the notion of two way communication process which gives it relative flexibility as compared to the other models of communication so this was in a nutshell the concept and the perspectives of communication we hope you enjoyed it and also learned something from it and stay tuned because we will be coming up with a new content soon enough the credits goes to sonak sanyal shayak sanyal party broy navamalika gupta and shruti paul thank you